Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and uh, moving along here are our Galaxy Note 3 tutorials. I have um, Pen Window, which is uh, Samsung has been known for doing a lot of multitasking, opening up various apps on the screen, and we've done a lot of videos on that in the past. Of course, you open it up, you can do it here by opening up and multitasking, but they've got a new thing now, actually. Uh, whoops, I forgot to do the help. Um, that will allow you to quickly open up um, for certain apps a quick window so basically what you would do from now you can be in any app again I'm on the main screen hover your pen over go to air command and choose a uh, pen window again you go to air command by just hovering your pen over and pressing the button you don't have to t you don't touch the display just hover it close and press the button on the S pen so now um, again I'm just hovering moving my pen around and I'm going to choose um, a pen window here and now what this lets me do is draw a box and I can draw it pretty much any size I want but um, it's not going to be you know precise to the size but let's just say uh, I want to draw a box like this it doesn't have to be perfect and then I can now choose an app that I want so let's just say I want the calculator I now have a full function calculator um, that I, I have here that works and that will um, float over any apps so say um, that I want to go into S note or whatever it's there and it's hovering over anything and of course uh, sometimes when you hit when you go out of certain things it becomes minimized and it becomes like a chat head here and you can bring it right back and you can also minimize it by hitting the uh, minus right there and you you can have this going you know around so you can have quick access to it all day especially if you use a calculator now you want another app no big deal just uh, hover the pen over again and should press the button, hit pen window, and draw another box. And uh, let's just say I want the internet. Can't use Chrome, but you got the internet. And there's a Talk Android web page. And again, I can minimize. Um, it's a little small on this. Uh, minimize, and I can move these around. I can leave them on the screen. Just like I said, they're like chat heads, and then I can quickly go to them later. Now, if I want to maximize it, I can go like this and maximize it, but I can't go back. For, I haven't been able to figure out how to go back. Um, but uh, once you go back, uh, it'll be gone. And so the same thing here. This is here, and I can actually close it by hitting the X, and it will be gone. So um, it's pretty slick. Uh, again, if you have much use for it, I don't personally. But I think if someone uses a calculator a lot, they might uh, want that. Um, you can have your contacts in there and have that as a, as a little floating head there. Um, and then you can, you know, quickly go to it and so you know if you use your contacts a lot rather than hitting here you just open up that and then scroll through it and again if you 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 can use this for different things so if you're browsing the web or you're looking at emails and there's some and you work with numbers a lot then you can quickly you know you're reading an email and you just tap this and then you can do some calculations and then you know minimize it again it's it's pretty cool so anyways that's pen window um, and, and uh, like I said you can have multiple ones on the display uh, it's just another um, way for Samsung to um, incorporate multitasking and now in the Galaxy Note 3 and and part of Android 4.3 so I imagine this will hit other uh, devices uh, with Android 4.3 so um, so there you have it pen window hope this helped thanks for watching this is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android